Aung San Suu Kyi is a general's daughter. Her father, Aung San, was among the most pivotal figures in the history of modern Burma, now Myanmar. He led an uprising against the Japanese occupation of Burma in 1945, forcing them from the country. After the war, he negotiated the terms of his country's independence from the British. My colleagues and I have come to London in response to the invitation of His Majesty's government in order to discuss the constitutional questions of Burma. The demand of our people is complete independence. But he was assassinated six months before colonial rule in Burma formally came to an end. Aung San Suu Kyi moved with her mother to India in 1960, beginning a period of nearly 30 years that she would spend mostly apart from her native land. She was educated at Oxford, where she met her future husband, Michael Aris, a scholar of Tibetan culture. They were married in 1972 and had two sons together. It wasn't until 1988 that she returned to Burma to care for her ailing mother. And what she found was a country on the brink, a one-party state ruled by the military since 1962. Burma was racked by poverty and corruption. Things boiled over in August of 1988 as students took to the streets to demand regime change. The response was swift and savage. Thousands are believed to have died in the military crackdown. But from Burma's darkest hour, a new leader, Suu Kyi addressed nearly half a million people in the capital at the height of the chaos, calling herself my father's daughter, making her in an instant the face of the opposition movement. As Myanmar's military government faces growing calls for democratic reform, the ghost of Aung San and the daughter who bears his name remain at the heart of the country's hope for change. Jesse Messner-Hage, Al Jazeera.